Metricool tutorial and review the best social media management tool. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys all you need to know about Metricool, whether or not it is the best tool out there for social media management, and what are the different features and value that those features provide. So let's get into it. Now, Metricool is really used worldwide. It is used internationally by so many different larger corporations. It's an all-in-one tool that provides you with the analytics that you require, as well as all of the calendar features, the drag and drop features, everything that you would need to manage your social media platform as a business. Plus, you guys can see this tool has been authorized by Facebook, Instagram, X, TikTok, LinkedIn, Google, Pinterest, YouTube, and many others. Plus, it allows you to integrate, calculate, and schedule your social media posts. So let's take a look at the different features that it provides. Now, to get started is very simple. You can click on sign up for free on the top right and then just enter your email address over here. And then you're going to use a password to access your Metricool account. So I'm just going to insert that over here. And then you're going to agree to their terms and conditions. Once you do that, click on let's go. And then you will see you will have an activation link sent to your email address. And you just want to open up your mail and click on verify your email address. You can't get started without verification of your email. Now, once you have completed that, you will see this is going to be your account. Now, first off, you are supposed to enter your brand from where you can get started with. Building your connections is the first step of any tool. So you have different platforms you can add, Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, your website, your Facebook account, X account, Twitter, TikTok, and more. Now we're going to get started with connecting our Pinterest account. So I am just going to connect that over here and keep in mind that you do need a business account for things such as, you know, your uh, Facebook account. You have to connect a Facebook page or a Facebook group. You can't connect your personal profile. But if you take a look at Instagram, it's pretty much the same thing. You can create and connect a professional account. You can't link your personal account over here. And that makes sense. And it's, you know, usually the standard protocol because these tools are meant for businesses, not for individuals. Now, let's say I want to connect my Google account to this as well. So I can just continue on over here and I'll link my google sites locations to this and i'm going to choose my jane's lash studio one and just like that we have two platforms connected so on and so forth you can add all of your platforms then you're going to see on your top left you have your brand name and brand settings so we're going to name our brand Durden. And I want to save this for all of my brands because I want to build the same brand identity for all of my accounts. Now, once you do that, you will see you have one brand established. You can open up a toolbar from the top right where you can build your brands, connections, tasks, your billing, as well as your affiliation program. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get started with actually setting up the content. So for that, click on planning on the top toolbar. Once you do that, you will see a particular calendar. Now, this calendar is going to select a time zone and then you will have different weekly setups in this. Now, in this, you can go to your current date and time to get started with building your content list and you can click on create new post on the top left. Now, from here, you have different options. First off, you're going to see whenever you're building a new post, you can select where you want your post to be listed on. So if you want it to be a Google business listing or a Pinterest post, but you can also choose to simultaneously have the same thing posted in two different platforms. So I will select both of those. And then from that, I will you know enter my post. And you will see that on the bottom, it's going to give you a remembrance feature because different platforms have different requirements. So on Pinterest, it's necessary that I insert an image on Google posts. It won't be necessary, but it's going to give me that reminder that I need to make sure I'm adding a visual element because I am trying to post this at Pinterest as well. Now, you also have the option to edit by network as well. So, hey, our new collection 
of eyelash extensions is dropping tomorrow visit us for the best experience or you know whatever it might be so what this allows you to do is that you can add a standard post and then you can go into each individual section such as your post section for google listing for my google listing i want to keep it as it is and for pinterest i'm going to click on add content and i can add an image and i'm just going to use a stock image for this like this because maybe i don't want an image on my google sites listing so that's why i want to go with this one over here now you guys can see the board where to publish this pin is required it's going to you know give you the requirements that need to be completed so for our google business listing our requirements have been completed now i can go into the pinterest preset so i need to insert the title lashes for the great and then for my board i want to be said this for the violet board and then i can also add a link that i might be promoting that will be added into the pinterest links now on the bottom you have the save and schedule option where you can schedule a post so it might be for the 22nd and then i can also choose the time as well once you do that, you have a few different options. You can save this as a draft and then choose to publish later if you have any further edits that you're looking to create. And then you have the publish now and save and schedule options. You can also preview these for both desktop and mobile devices. Plus, you can also preview these for how it's going to appear on multiple different social media platforms. And that is why Metricool is such an amazing platform because having to do this for each individual platform, especially when you're, you're running a business that is expanding and when you're in that growing phase you want to be as active as possible on as many platforms. So if you try to do all of this on First, you do it for Instagram, then you schedule the same times for Pinterest, then you do it for TikTok, then you do it for X, then you do it for Facebook. That can be so time consuming and so unnecessary when you can do it all together over here. Now, just like that, we have scheduled our post and you guys can see on the top right, we have the filters, how we want to view it. And if I just go into monthly views, it's showing me on the 22nd, I have these two posts scheduled and I can even go into a particular date and just choose to start creating posts posts for that date as well and other than that on the top left you have your analytics which will help you in analyzing your location your reach how it's performing how each individual platform is performing as well as your general summary for all of your posts plus if you go into the analytics i can also take a look at a particular type of report to get a better example of all of our data you also have a hashtag tracker and a brand setting connector so you can further customize the overall ratio of interaction that you are getting now generally speaking i personally really do love using metrical it's super easy and effective plus it lets you manage everything all at once so it's definitely a all-in-one tool that is not going to let you down in any aspect of your social media necessities or tools that are required. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.